This shuttlecock midge is a relatively easy fly to tie, but it can be a very effective imitation of the emerging or hatching midge as it's held in the surface or hanging below it. I have a size 18 Kamazan B980 in the vise and I'm starting the thread just behind the eye and taking it down the shank in touching turns towards the bend. I'll stop there and remove the unwanted thread and now I'll carry on down towards the bend of the hook. Once I reach the bend or just before the bend we'll come back up the shank again in touching turns towards the eye and stop approximately one millimetre behind the eye. This is just to give me room to form the head when it comes to finishing the fly at the end. So I'll stop about there and then I'll prepare a CDC feather by stripping away the fibres at the base of the stem. Hold it against the hook shank, take one turn to hold it and then pull the feather through until I've got the length I want, which is about the same length as the hook shank. Take another wrap to hold it, check I've still got enough room to form the head and then I'll snip that away quite tight into that second wrap and leave a little stub. Now I'll take a, a second feather and do the same again. Prepare it. Take undo one wrap, hold it against the shank, one wrap to hold it, pull it through till it's the same length as the first, a second wrap to secure it. and snip away the remainder of that feather. Now at this point, depending on the quality of your CDC feathers, that may be sufficient to support the fly in the surface. With this particular fly, I'd just like a bit more, so I'm going to add one more CDC feather. So I've prepared, prepared it, undo one wrap, take one turn to hold it, tension on, pull it through, Use the other feathers to gauge the length, take a second wrap to secure it, cut away the unwanted base and now we'll take two or three wraps over those stubs to secure them. Then we want to come back over that area and up to the base of the CDC fibres with some dubbing to form a thorax. That can be done with any coarse ish dubbing like rabbit or awesome possum. In this case I'm using uh, black or well, midge black sorry zelon dubbing. So we twist some of that onto the thread and come back up the fly right up to the base of the CDC fibres. And now I just want to hold the CDC fibres back take a few turns behind the eye to form the head and then we can do a whip finish to finish the fly off and remove the thread. That's it, I'll just put the tip of my scissors in that loop to control it as I pull that in snip away the thread and now we're ready just for a touch of varnish on the head. At this point don't worry if there's one or two fibres sticking out of the thorax. That's the reason I said coarse ish dubbing like rabbit fur or um, awesome possum. Uh, I think one or two fibres sticking out just gives the impression of a bit of movement, the fly fighting to get through the meniscus if you want. Right, so I'll just put a dab of varnish on there and that's the shuttlecock midge finished. So I'll give that a twirl in the vise for you um, and that is the shuttlecock midge. A relatively simple pattern to tie, pretty basic but uh, it can prove invaluable when fish are concentrating on um, 
emerging midge and they won't look at anything but these tiny morsels trapped in or just below the surface film.